Hello everyone, welcome back. This is going to be attempt number two at getting the ram truck to the end of this map, which if you're not familiar with it, you haven't seen the previous ones, this is a very, very long drive all the way across this map. We have this forested area, the desert area, this kind of very rough, more open terrain, so no trees, and then up the somewhat slippery road all the way until we get to mom's house way at the end. This drive previously in a slow car took us a little over an hour to do this time around this vehicle is going to be a little bit quicker but we are absolutely going to be under the assault of ai vehicles the entire time we're going to have to slam into all of them so although we're going to be quicker we're going to be having the crap beat out of this truck uh, i'm going to lock the rear differentials to hopefully give us a little more oomph we do have nitrous available on this truck if we need it but we're not going to use it at this moment because we'll be out in no time so this is probably going to be, if we get to the end, which I do not expect us to, probably going to be a uh, half an hour plus long journey. Uh, we're going to set the AI to chase us so that it's not just us slaughtering them. They're going to be trying to fight us back. They're going to be coming at us head on like this guy is. And eventually down here, we're going to have a lot more of a closing speed than that. We do have, unlike last time, we have the dump truck variant of this thing. So... We could accidentally end up catching a truck or a car or anything that we come across in the back of this, which would be kind of entertaining. These guys are moving out of the way. Okay, or hitting my side. They're, they've got varying tactics. But I imagine having a car in the back of this thing is not going to help our control uh, or our center of gravity <laughs> whatsoever. And this thing, I can already tell you, is compared to the truck we took last time that didn't have the dump uplift. It was just, you know, a bare truck. Uh, it, it It's taken a little more to stop it. It's it's going to be tougher to slow down for all the corners. I have the camera tipped down like this so that I can see in front of us a little bit better because this, this one is longer. It's got two rear axles as opposed to the other one that had one, of course. This car is going to be a problem. We're going to get hit from behind. We need to watch those front wheels. They are delicate. Um, this guy might be kind of crash well to the front of us perhaps no he's just being stubborn that's okay i'm not too worried about getting a flat on the rear axle what i am worried about is something happening like it did last time around in the other truck which is something an oncoming vehicle slamming into that rear axle at a weird angle and just absolutely destroying it last time around that happened our tires didn't get flattened surprisingly i don't think they did i didn't pay attention now that i mentioned it but our drive shaft was snapped because of the impact and that is, you know, obviously not uh, ideal for a rear-wheel drive vehicle to not have a drive shaft. Uh, there is a chance that somebody's going to hit us from behind here. It's probably going to happen several times eventually. Some of the AI are going to do stupid things like that and crash into each other. Some are going to almost ignore us for some reason. I think it's just a pathfinding thing, maybe because it's a modded map and all that too. But, oh, we almost caught that car in the back. But for the most part, they are going to make our lives difficult. This van's coming in. That's a fairly heavy vehicle. This thing is definitely weighing more. It's not going up these hills quite as quick as the, the truck without the uplift. Ooh. And that's what we wanted to avoid. You see how that car just slammed into the side there? It has done some damage to that rear wheel. You can see it wobbling a bit. But I think that's not too big of an issue. We have, we have another axle that's still good. And uh, it's not too detrimental. It is kind of shaking our vehicle a little bit but I think we'll be okay. One of the thoughts I had for... That side's taking another beating. That side's going to take the biggest beating by the looks of it. One of the thoughts I had for uh, having the dump truck uplift here... Oh, more hits on that side. Is that because of this cargo box, it would be more protected. Like, hopefully things would hit the cargo box, or the dump box uplift there before they hit the rear axle. But, oh no, just like that... <laughs> that's not exactly working out as intended I think the problem here is that this truck is slower because it's heavier and I have the biggest turbo uh, it, it's allowing those vehicles to get in beside it a little bit more and because it's slower and heavier oh man it's taking so many hits back there that uh, I, I can't really ooh man I can't really avoid these collisions at all. So we are sitting a little bit on level because of us missing a wheel on that front rear axle. We can... 
Oh, we can manage like this. But I don't have confidence in that not happening again. Especially when we get past the desert. That's going to be almost entirely uphill on that side of the map. We're dipping down to low ground for this desert area. The desert area is relatively-ish flat. Compared to this, anyway. And... Yikes. <laughs> the cars are riding up on the cab a little bit, almost. Which is a little bit concerning. Uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. We're going up this hill. I'm tempted to use nitrous for the hill. Maybe I should save the, the nitrous. Chances are we're not going to make it that far. But maybe I should save the nitrous as much as I can for when we get to the uphill section of this map. No one's really behind us. Oh, camera angles. Um, because I think that's when we're going to need the boost the most. And this, this nitrous is only going to last probably a minute or something before we're out. I need to be careful going down the hill. It's so easy to lock up and lose control here. Especially when we're colliding with cars and going around corners at the same time. Hello there behind me. Just a slight tag. I'm not too worried about that. That's fine. Go for the right side especially. This is kind of concerning. We've got lots of speed. We're pushing a car. We had that other one slamming into the rear of us. We're going to just try to protect this right well, left side Sorry, of the truck as much as we can. I say as we almost slide it into the rock. <laughs> That's not ideal. Uh, we're... There's a bit of a wobble on that left rear, too. That's kind of concerning. It's under so much pressure now. <laughs> no pressure there, little left rear. Lone left rear. <laughs> we can probably afford one puncture on that, on that left rear there, but if we get a second one, it's going to be so difficult here. I mean, we're already having to compensate a little bit for it. I'm just... I'm trying not to let these cars just avoid that front plow uh, that was close though there and uh oh, yikes and hit the left rear like that but it's so difficult I better try to guess what all these guys are going to do and then the AI do stuff like this where I don't know if they're overtaking each other or trying to get in my path or what their plan is I want to keep momentum for up this hill as much as possible I'm glad I avoided that van that would have killed a lot of momentum I don't want cars to slam into the into the rear of me any more than necessary. They probably won't do a whole lot of damage. I wasn't worried about it to start. There was a chance that we'd end up... Ooh, that was close. That uh, we'd end up uh, eating somebody's bumper, like we almost did just there as I said it, with that left rear and getting it bound up or something. Can this pickup go away? I kind of want to... Oh, that van or the SUV, whatever it was. Almost got a clear shot when I was trying to make evasive maneuvers. I don't remember what I was saying. There's too much going on in my brain right now. I'm trying to drive and talk. It does not work out. It like there's there's too much. I'm I like that those guys were kind of pushing themselves to the right. Uh, we're shoving a car again. It's not good for my speed at all. <laughs> oh, I need to pay attention in front of me. That left rear is not going to take a whole lot more beating. It just took another big hit right there. That guy looked like he was not, you know, intentionally thinking about it because he's AI. But he was thinking about going for the side there. Is my whole dump bucket kind of collapsing? The front left of that plow looks like it's dragging on the ground a lot. Is it not attached nicely anymore? Is something, something is a little askew here, I think, more than it was. Or has it been like this for, no, it's definitely gotten worse. Like, look at the rear of this thing. It's, it's sagging hard. The... The dump uplift is sagging. It's it must have taken some good hits there. It did not like it. Something is bent. Something is broken. I can't tell what it is. Maybe if I had all the time in the world to move the camera around this thing freely, I'm trying to look at the left side a little bit because that's what I'm worried about. I know it's kind of a little bit perhaps disorienting to watch. Maybe hopefully not. It's a little bit disorienting to drive, to be completely honest. But I think woo, that it's better. I'm trying, I am kind of want to hit all the oncoming traffic with that plow as opposed to try to avoid it all. Because if I'm driving, oh, hi behind me. If I'm driving, yeah, see, if I'm driving in that right lane, then they're trying to swerve over and hit me last second. I think just the way their pathfinding works. And that's when I'm concerned that they're going to hit that left rear. Like that. Ooh, do we lose a tire? No. Okay, I thought I saw the tire get shredded. You go off-road, please. 
I don't care about the right side too much, which is good because that guy just tapped it. I think I'm okay there from those guys. This guy wants to have a head-on, though. And so does the van, the SUV. That was close. That was close. No, don't back into me! We have a deflated tire on the left rear. That's a problem. I think we have one good tire back there. <laughs> See what happens when I decide not to do my plan and hit people on the left. Those guys are swerving way far to the right for some reason. That's fine. I don't care what happens on the right side too much at this point. The left is just such a big concern. If I can graze everyone with the left side of that ram plow that's oncoming, that's probably okay. That guy can rub against the right side. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to shove this guy with me. <laughs> Uh, I need to be careful with this corner. I also need to be careful with this car here that I'm now pushing. If I let him along beside me on the left. Ooh, ooh, oh no, my rear axle looks like it's really cockeyed. <laughs> we made it to the desert. We made it farther than the last time officially. Um, oh no. I allowed it to happen. I allowed it to happen. I, uh,. <laughs> We're still driving. Um, I don't know what the implications for this are long term. <laughs> what is going on? Like our, our right side is pretty much pristine. I'm, I'm not as drivable as I was before. I think if I didn't have the diff lock on, we'd have a problem. I'm locking the other diff. I, I didn't lock it before. It's, I think it's labeled wrong. It says rear diff, but the other one is center diff and rear rear diff. But I'm assuming it's the front diff. But I need to get all the, the grip I can at this point. Help pull me along. Get all the power down I can. Because I definitely don't have the performance I did before. But... <laughs> oh! Oh! What? This is so stupid. Do you think I can even make it up the hill on the far side like this anymore? Like, my foot's to the floor. Uh, we're dragging a lot. Look at my fuel tanks are dragging on the ground. <laughs> Along with what's left of that left rear. My goodness. I I think there's still a chance that we can do something here. But wow, if we do this again, which I think we're going to have to, to be completely honest, we are going to have to be so much, wow, so much more careful. On, uh, <laughs> oh my, uh, on how we come about these cars. We're going to have to make a different plan. I have a puncture in the, on the right rear there, on that center axle. That's fine. It's That's really the least of my concerns at this point in time. I'm still foot to the floor this entire time. My, my engine is showing us damage. When did that happen? Did that happen with those big collisions? Or that happened somewhere else? Was that an over-rev thing? Or... As long as it doesn't explode and fail completely, then we'll be okay. Um, I really hope we don't catch a car in the back of this thing now. Because that's... I, I can't afford that to be any more top-heavy than we currently are. The only thing saving the rear... the That rear... Or left side anymore now is the dump. Um, the whole dump box there. It doesn't really matter if the AI hit it too much anymore. The only concern, I suppose, is the fuel tank that that guy just hit. But I do have four fuel tanks on this thing. I'm pushing a car on the left, on the right. I didn't even know that. That'd be part of the reason why I'm struggling to get mo some momentum. How long has that been there for? <laughs> he really wants to hug the side of me there, that white car. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm losing speed. This is when I wish I had some crazy amount of nitrous. Ooh! <laughs> if I was going a little bit slower, I would have caught that guy in the back of the truck. Yeah, I can't afford more weight. That's really a problem at this point in time. But yeah, slam into the left rear as much as you want now. I don't care. Um, although, if they knock this box off, yeah, that's going to be no more defense for me at all. That's the only bit of armor I have, and I'm not sure if that would expose everything there completely for potentially more more breakage of the drive shaft. Uh, obviously, we can't afford that. Please clear me. Thank you. Please, you also, yeah, I don't want anybody in the, to come into the back of, that, of the truck here. <laughs> um, come on, go. Speed, power. 
I wish I had a bigger engine at this point. I'm not sure if there's a bigger one available. Uh, there is absolutely not a bigger turbocharger, but otherwise, this is, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it a stock vehicle from the vehicle selector. This is the way it came. I didn't make any changes to it other than locking the, the diffs to give myself as much of an advantage as I possibly could. Holy. Okay, this uphill section with all these vehicles spawning up here is going to be a problem. We're, yep, yeah, hitting several vehicles in a short period of time is costing us so much, so much momentum. This is crazy. This is crazy. This idea is crazy. We're approaching the fuel station. I'd like to check the map to see where we are. I'm pretty sure that pauses the game when I do so. But I, I, I don't think it's a good idea for me to... That would resultingly probably mean I'm off the gas for even a, a second. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think breaking my train of thought with the navigation here is... Although it would probably be fine, is really a good idea. Ooh, that actually did some damage. I saw some more uh, greenish lines up here on the damage indicator there on the left. That damage indicator, by the way, is wonderful. It really gives an idea of, of how much force is going through this truck, even even though most of these impacts are just hitting that ram plow only. It's still so much shock going through this truck. It's Oh man, we just monster trucked over that one. It's something that we can't afford to... or something that in real life would just destroy the vehicle. Look, we're barely going faster than these guys beside us now. We're struggling along. So much for having all the speed momentum. This is going to add a lot of our, a lot of time to our uh, to how long it takes for us to get to our destination. Assuming we even make it there, we have this minivan on the right side trying to eat our tires. If we get a bumper stuck in one of these wheels now, that really resists our movement a lot, uh, we're going to have to come to a dead stop probably to get it out of there. And I think at that point we'll be mobbed by AI. Combining that with the, uh, the issues this truck is having, I don't know if we'd ever get going again. So I really hope that doesn't happen. That guy is pushing his bumper and mangled front end of that car. Okay, that was a good head-on collision there. Uh, against the, the right rear. I don't know if it's helping or hurting me. He's probably binding up that wheel a little bit, which isn't helping. Was I, was I pushing that red car for a while? <laughs> I don't even see them ahead of me sometimes. Ooh, that was a big hit. Um, or I don't know if maybe that minivan is uh, helping push us along, giving us a, some more some more power that we need. Uh, we're not pushing anybody that we haven't noticed at the moment. Minus this big white SUV, which is not helping. Hopefully this red car will clear that up. Yep, excellent. <laughs> this truck is hurting so much. <laughs> I can't believe it's still working. I... The hits we took on the left side there, I think the only thing that saved us is that uh, we we kind of went over a lot of the cars that hit it, as opposed to e, as opposed to just taking the entirety of the impact. Ooh, that was a bad hit. I think oh we're pushing a car again. <laughs> I don't even notice them up there most of the time. Isn't that ridiculous? We. <laughs> Multiple times now, it's been, hey, we're pushing a car. How long does that happen for? But I, I think as the back of this thing... Hmm. As the back of this thing... Uh, look behind us, cars disappeared. Cars are despawning. We could cheat the system that way. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I think more and more cars are going to catch that front edge of the dump box there. And eventually... That was almost a big side impact there, too. Eventually... That might just rip that thing off entirely. And I'm very concerned that if that happens, it's going to cause untold additional issues. And there's that UFO. It's been approaching. But we've been approaching it for the longest time. At this point, being abducted like we were in our very first drive on this map <laughs> is not looking too bad, to be completely honest. It would definitely put us out of our misery. <laughs> if you saw the first video, or the short that went along with it, <laughs> you will know exactly what happened with that one. We had a bit of a surprise with that UFO. 
That car is upside down. This minivan is really hanging on. It's... I, I think it's pushing us. I don't think we're pulling it. I, unless it's stuck to us. I don't know. But I don't feel like it's hurting us as far as... We're using more of our power. Oh, here comes a big barrier. Eee! Slamming into the front edge of that box again. Bumpers and car parts flying everywhere. This thing is so cockeyed. Um, I don't think that our fuel tank can be worn off by scraping on the ground this entire time. Which is really, really good. Considering that that is part of what's holding up the left side of the truck. And keeping us from tipping over that along with a little bit of what's left on the rear axle there. As you can see by the sparks that are flying. But holy, this, this is, this has been an adventure. <laughs> Ooh, just a slight clip. I don't care if they slam into it as much anymore. I mean, like, I do. I really do care, but I don't care. I think it'll be okay if they're just tapping the left side a little bit, like the rear edge of that, of that dump box. But hitting the, the front corner is going to cause problems. I, when I was planning which vehicle to bring here, I considered somehow loading up some more weight into this thing. And I'm glad I didn't because it's had such a big impact on our average speed. I think that our average speed being a lot lower has allowed the AI to hit that left rear a lot more. Uh, that being said, we did make it farther than we did in our first attempt. However, we didn't have the cargo box uplift. Oh, there goes that minivan. We are getting sandwiched. Absolutely sandwiched. This could be a problem. Did you see that? Did you see? We were going through like a sea of cars. Just that. These guys. Leave me alone. We, we were just pushing our way through. There was cars jacked on top of each other on all sides of us it seemed. Ooh. Somehow we got out of there. I don't know how. We, I think we've, we've got to be most of the way to the desert area by now. I th think we have the ship here that we go through the middle of its two halves of. And then we have, not too far after that, we have a small city with some skyscrapers we go through. Oh yeah, we have this, uh, what was that, nuclear power plant or some sort of industrial site up here. That we go through between them too. But once we get once we see the city on the horizon, then we know we're almost through the desert area, and then the real challenge begins. The real struggle begins. We're gonna have to deal with going uphill. Ah uh, <laughs> that could be a problem. There's some very steep hills when we get to the uphill. And lots of them we might have to use up. Oh, that car just got flipped behind us. Did you see that? Did it land back on its wheels? Okay, you guys. Get away from my front axle, please. Don't eat my front wheels. I need to be able to steer. If they take out my steering, I'm probably done for. If I lose another drive wheel, I'm probably done for. Given that there's three options to lock the, uh, the diffs on this truck, I'm assuming that it's also front wheel drive. What happened there? Felt like my engine cut out. I don't think it actually did. Maybe it was just because I got pushed from back the back so hard that uh, there's an abandoned building. Maybe it just kind of pushed my vehicle and I didn't hear the engine sounds for a second. I don't know what happened exactly. That guy got launched. It's so, it's so satisfying when that happens, when they just get launched into the air. I'm glad my engine is hanging on so far. That's, an, that's a possibility too. Especially given that my engine is in not the best condition after all this abuse. As you can see in the bottom left there, it being orange. There's a chance that I could put the nitrous on here and strain my engine a little bit more and detonate the thing. Like that's that's absolutely something we might have to worry about. The so last time I was complaining that I had wished I brought some some water because my throat gets dried out from docking for so long. I brought some water this time in the form of a bottle of water. Sorry, I got a cough. But 
but the bottle of water isn't opened, and I don't have two hands to open the thing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about doing it, although, if we keep getting slowed down by these vehicles like this, that might not be an issue <laughs> for too much longer. The head-on collisions are concerning, the car is touching my sides, especially the right side right now, is a bit of a problem. I'm just looking to see if we're pushing a car, seeing as we're lacking power, but I think it's just the hill, <laughs> among other things that are clearly going on. Okay, I see that city up ahead. I think as soon as we get through that city, we make a slight left, and then we are on to the uphill part. I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be so such slow going. We're going to be so vulnerable is the big concern. I don't really care that we're going slow. Specifically, I need to be careful here. I want to keep this momentum, but I also don't want to lose control. For some reason, I don't feel like my vehicle's control is 100% at this point in time. Uh, I, I forget what I was saying. Again, there's so much going on. I cringe every time I have a collision now. You can even see on that damage indicator on the left, look at all the green lines through that ram plow. It's, it's pretty heavy duty stuff. You can't really deform that thing by crashing unless you really, ooh, slam into it quite hard, like slam into a solid object, like a wall at high speed. But it's, yikes, it's clearly taken some hits. At least our fuel tanks have been so far protected Find this dump box. I mean, lots of things have scraped along the side of that fuel tank, I feel. Including the ground at all times. Get out of my way, blue car. Get out of my way. Fine, I'll feed you to this this guy. There. Ooh! From behind again. Don't land in the back, thank you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, look how high up the, the dump box is from the fuel tank on this side. Compared to this side. It's almost riding on it. Plus the fuel tanks are riding on the ground. It's ridiculous. I'm glad that they haven't been ruptured so far. Obviously, that wouldn't be ideal. I'm surprised that left corner of this ram plow is handling all this abuse so well. I get that it's strong, but come on. The plow is even looking straight compared to the truck. The hood's a little wiggly. The hood's a little bit cockeyed, along with everything else in the truck. But it's overall, it seems like the frame of this thing is handling it quite well. All right. We might be starting the uphill now. Uh, I thought the transition to the next area was right here. But I, you know, I haven't seen it a whole lot. Don't land in the back. <laughs> uh, it, it's got to be up there close. I, I feel like we're definitely starting to make our transition to the uphill now. This thing, this truck, it's been through so much. It's really been a team player. There's been an accident up ahead. <laughs> I like when the AI just casually drive into each other. Like that. It's, it's so silly. I'm glad that this game has the AI as well. Okay, so much for going uphill. Again, I want to keep momentum as much as I can. But going downhill at high speed with wheels missing. Crashing into things. along Around a corner. It's not really the brightest idea in my opinion I mean one ooh, going off this road here I don't know if I'd get stuck in the sand even if I lost my momentum in the sand but hitting, you know, hitting a telephone pole hitting a cactus hitting maybe one of the rocks again we haven't determined if they have collision boxes on them that would be a problem but let's not find that out now this is ugh so crazy. This is, this is silly. Look, ah! This is ridiculous. I just saw it. cars despawn up ahead. What the heck's going on? <laughs> Fix your AI. Oh, no, I'm going to push this truck sideways. I didn't want to do that. I kind of want another AI to hit it and get it away from me like that. Thank you. Oh, no. Uphills. I don't like uphills. They're scary. I don't know if it's a good idea to take the glancing blows on the left side there on the oncoming traffic like on the on the dump up lift I'll hit him with the plow I think I lose less momentum most of the time when they hit the plow or sorry when they hit the side of the truck than they do than I do when they hit the plow but 
the damage could be an issue. I'm getting pushed sideways by this blue car. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have traction. I don't have traction. Oh no. It's not a it's not a power issue. It's a traction issue. Our front wheels aren't even spinning. So maybe that diff doesn't work. We're barely moving. Come on, somebody wiggle me just enough. Why do we struggle all of a sudden now? Is it just, I guess, because the back of the truck has tipped over so much that we, we're not making contact with the ground on those rear wheels? That must be simply it. Wow, is that, is that the end? I'm going to give it a second here. I want to see if any AI... Be nice if one came from back there. If any AI are going to hit us just the right way that we can get going again. Maybe if I work the throttle a little bit more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. Push. Push me, white car. Push me. Push me. Come on. Keep going. Come around this corner over here, though. Once we started going up the hill, around that corner. Oh. It definitely seemed like we were getting pushed sideways a lot. Well, I wonder if that car that was pushing us there... Just kind of put it over the edge. What happened? But I could I could node grab. Should I use the node grabber? I feel like that's controversial, isn't it? Like we're moving so slowly, but I'm not gonna take 20 minutes to get to the top of this hill to just maybe not have that be the problem. Nitrous is clearly not doing anything for us. Can I back up at all? I can back up. Did we get another flat tire or something? I don't think we did. It's very interesting that I can back up no problem. Maybe it is just the hill. Maybe if I can get... Hmm. Can I turn around and go backwards? Oh no, don't you start. Yeah, weigh me down. Help push me. Weigh my, the right side of my truck down. Help me get up this hill. Maybe if I can run over that bumper. <laughs> It'll help push me up. Come on, go, go, go. It'll work like snow chains wrapped around my wheels. I don't think this is going to work. I, this might be it, guys. I think this is it. I think I can go backwards easily. I'd like to try to go backwards up this hill. But how do I turn this thing around? With all these dead cars on this little road. In a vehicle in the condition it's in. I smacked into a cactus. I'm not going to go backwards the entire time on this challenge. Yeah, that didn't help. It was just the up and down hill thing. I bet you now I can go forwards. Yes, I can. Maybe I can try to get a running start out of this hill one more time. Maybe I can smack this thing off of a, a car on the side. I think that's what I have to do. Maybe I can just shove that box back on. Or take it off completely. We've ruptured a fuel tank doing that. That was definitely a risk I think we had to take. <laughs> I can't see anything. This has not helped our issue. The box is not shoved back on. I thought about using the telephone pole too. Maybe it would have been better. Maybe the force would have been focused upwards a little bit more. But I think we're okay with the fire. But now we've caught a car. We caught a car in the end. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Our engine is failing. It's overheating big time because of the fire I think we're having to call it there there's not much else we can do at this point um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of happy we managed to catch a car there at the end that's you know, something we talked about this entire time it's just not ooh I mean it's kind of late to think about this but Uh, uh, I was thinking about shift I how do I I don't know how to use the dump function extend feet oh that's probably for something else anyway it doesn't matter our engine is seconds away from failure here with all this fire all this stuff going on our vehicle is in bad shape there's no way we're making it up 
all the rest of the hills that we were just about at. Let's see where we are on the map. We still have a, a little bit more of the desert, to be honest. I thought we... I was thinking in my head that the desert transition was like here. And we would have been out of the desert now. But no, we were just starting to get into it. Like there's that crash plane. We still had a long ways to go. That was... <laughs> that was something else. That was a little different. <laughs> wow. That... I, I don't know what to say, but that that was exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed that half as much as I did. That was a whole lot of fun. That That's something I might have to come on again just to do, even in my spare time, if I didn't record it. That, a great time killer. Um, if anybody's interested in giving this map a go on their own, the name is in the title, Journey the Long Road. It's a mod it's available here, right on the repository. There's also a rainy version of it. I think we might have to try something else next time. Uh, the time I've recorded this, the previous video where I tried the Ram truck was uh, has not been uploaded yet. I recorded it the same night. So I haven't seen your comments on that yet, but feel free to comment on this one. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Let me know any, any crazy ideas I'm open for. I see all the comments. But... I think that's it. We're calling it quits. We're waving the white flag. Until next time, have a good one. See you later.